Only about 5% of clients will come to me either prior to or at the time of separation. Most people will unfortunately wait months or sometimes even years following separation to obtain legal advice and they often do so in the context of a climactic event which has caused them either financial or emotional stress. By proactively engaging an experienced family lawyer, you will receive the benefit of some invaluable advice and I can help you resolve those sticky issues quickly and cost effectively. Today, I have some top tips for you as to things you should do and shouldn't do when you separate. First of all, let's cover six top tips of things you should do when you separate. Number one, it may not be possible for you to remain in the family home. Therefore, you should take all important items with you. Things such as a marriage certificate, birth certificates, financial documents, and anything of sentimental value. Number two, Try, if possible, to remain in the family home and ask the other person to leave. This is particularly important if you are not able to work or you have primary care of the children, as it will be less disruptive to the children and it will be less a financial pressure for you if you require to source alternate accommodation. Number three, make sure you contact your bank and put joint signatures on all mortgage documents and on all bank accounts in your joint name. Now, this will prevent the other party from withdrawing funds from joint accounts, thereby reducing the matrimonial pool and your entitlements. Number four, lodge a caveat over a property that is in the other party's name if you are concerned that they will sell it without your consent. Number five, develop an action plan for things that you should do and how you're going to do it. Things such as, where am I going to live? How am I going to financially support myself? Apply for Centrelink, child support, open a bank account in your sole name, and most importantly, change your passwords, your will, and your power of attorney. Number six, and most importantly, get prompt legal advice when you separate so that you are armed with important information about your rights when you have a conversation with the other party about the division of your assets. Now that covers my top six tips for things that you should do when you separate. But what about things that you shouldn't do? Number one, don't take your children out of state or out of Australia without the other party's consent. Or you may be the respondent to an application asking for the children to return to Queensland. Number two, don't publicize your relationship breakdown on Facebook. Try and keep your private issues private. Number three, don't buy a house or other significant asset before you do a property settlement, or that asset will just end up being part of the property pool to be divided with the other party. Number four, and most importantly, do not stay silent. If you are the victim of domestic violence, you should seek urgent support from an experienced counsellor or a psychologist. Your mental health is priority. Now, that concludes my top tips for things that you should do and shouldn't do when you separate. I'm Courtney Barton, and if you're separating or thinking about separating, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me and book a reduced rate consultation to have a confidential discussion about your individual circumstances. Let me help you resolve your family law problem at the least possible financial and emotional cost.